and rightfully so. Yeah, and one of the reasons why people have been so hyped is because of these really exciting matches. This is going to be Kamehameha versus Stocktaker. Stocktaker, really strong villager from out on Long Island. I'd say in contention for best villager in Tri-State, probably. But he's facing down against one of the Japanese invaders, a player who you all know for as a Mega Man, but his Sheik is to be feared as well. I was really hoping he was going to start with Mega Man, just because that matchup is abysmal for Villager. But I think because Kameme is just out of his comfort zone in terms of uh, act, like physical location, he just auto-picked uh, Sheik because he knows pools. Like, I, I got to warm the Sheik up anyway. But this matchup is a lot more doable than Mega Man Villagers. It's, it might be doable, but it's also tricky in its own right, especially the way that Kameme is moving. If yep. you see the way he... He, it's very similar to how he plays Mega Man in that, like, he doesn't necessarily go crazy with movement. He just puts himself exactly where he needs to be. Okay. And case in point, he's already taken that first stock off of Stock Taker. And he's only got 40% on him. He just pushed him all the way to the Blast Zone. And I didn't even see the fair connect, but now Stock Taker's in his own offense started. Or at least trying to. Stock Taker hasn't been suffering that much in disadvantage. But like you see that these combos are consistent. These combos are strong from Kameme. That one little mistake can lead to so much damage. And when he's down a stock already. Yep. He's just, like you said, he's just getting his damage and just maximizing and then getting right back out, making Villager have to work to really get back into the neutral stance and fight him. Because that's probably the part of the matchup where Villager struggles the most, I want to say. Because the, the edge guarding is kind of tough. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. That was yeah, it, the edge guarding is kind of tough. Like, just just ignore me, please. That was quick and decisive. I don't know if you can tell, there were no years from the crowd. New York is kind of silenced they're all right sad. now. Like, this shouldn't be happening to him. But well, this is a world-class player. Like you said, Kameme, one of the strongest players from Japan. Uh, in recent times, he's kind of been not as active in America. And then when he came to America, it, his results definitely were indicative of, you know, the, uh, the Frostbite 2016, the Evo 2016, what we saw from him originally. But he's still a very strong player, does very well in Japan, and we all know he can fight some Villager. He just showed it all for us. Oh, yeah. Let's let's not forget the fact that this is probably a matchup that is not at all foreign to him. At all. Considering the fact that Renai, the best Villager in the world, originates from Japan. He's been out of the game for a while, but I'm sure that when you have experience playing against Renai, that'll carry it, it over for years. It doesn't go away. It does not go that down. Well, hold on. You, you saw the down air, right? Yeah. Like, I've never seen Downer used in that exact situation before. I might have to take that one home. Kamehameha, he's kind of playing this creative chic. I mean, it's it's like subtly creative. It's not necessarily all over the place with his combos, but the way that he's choosing to, you know, flow chart and put Stock Taker in these bad situations, doesn't seem like Stock Taker's prepared to take these hits. All right, Stock Taker offstage once again, only 27% on Kamehameha. A couple uh, more seconds of ledge trapping, and Stock Taker will be at prime killing percent. So Kamehameha is just going to tackle on this damage ever so slowly. Air Dodge going to go for an air because Upper won't kill, yeah. Prime killing percent against Village, though, is kind of an abstract concept. Yeah. He's at 138, and he survived that up air. And he's managing to get some of this damage. And let's not forget the crazy, crazy kill power that Stock Taker does have as a villager. The bowling ball has been dropped a few times, not on Kameme yet, but if he's not careful, that can end his stock at the ledge now, probably. Yeah, probably. And even if he gets a couple more percent onto uh, Kameme, back air becomes an option, forward air becomes an option. Even triple turn up, up air and down air become options. So Kamehameha is not out of the woods yet. He has to find a way to get the stock off before Stock Taker is able to put on too much more damage. At the very least, he sort of hit that threshold of rage where he's not getting any more benefit to the damage yeah, he's taking. Yeah, yeah. At this point, it's just a matter of whether Kamehameha can finish Ooh, it. Ooh, okay. Beautiful read on the air. I bunch. like that. You're, you're afraid of bouncing fish, and I know you're afraid of bouncing fish, and I know you want to make use of this rage so you don't want to die. But just wait till the air dodge, hits him with the fair at 184. Not a kill move, but it'll kill eventually, right? Yeah, especially that deep. And, you know, you, you said that uh, he, he wanted to keep that rage. Right. Now he doesn't have it. And it, it's funny, just by losing that stock, Kamehameha can now bleed easier. There aren't as many options that Stock Taker can just, like, throw at him that will end. Oh, so we, we right now, we don't see that option often. That's why. <laughs> That's why we don't see it. You, you saw pretty much in the exact same instance why we do not see that option. I mean, if it was, if it had worked, it would have been like the next level play. Yeah, he would have been, he would have been expanding brain, like <laughs> 200 IQ if that worked. But instead, 
<laughs> just why'd you do that, man? And now, yeah, Stock Taker having taken all of this damage. Oh. <laughs> he, if he can take this stock now, which is not unreasonable, you know, Sheik very light, and he does have a lot of rage. If yep. he can do that, he'll still be in the running. But until that happens, Kamehameha can just play more patient, just going around, jumping, and finding his opportunities when they're given to him. I think he pretty much needs the stock for morale more than anything. Yeah. Because when, when the stock, when the game goes on for this long and you still haven't taken the stock, it kind of just gets to you mentally, unless you're at the top level like Kamehameha happens to be. So I really want Stock Taker to take that stock, and I want to see where he goes from there. Even at 138, I want to see what he's able to cook up if he's just able to even out the stocks. Okay, he gets grabbed again. Interesting. Kamehameha definitely looking for Needle's bouncing fish because he didn't even try and go for a 50-50 off right. that grab. All right, Needle's going to pop him up the platform, and up air not working, but the, he caught him with the... I have actually seen Kamehameha do that a lot. People are falling out of up air. I don't know, maybe it's rage, maybe it's just how Smash 4 was programmed, but he is adapted and he will, like, yeah, you pop out and he'll just do it to you again. I, I, ne never before in my life have I seen that. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, well, I guess I gotta do it again. I didn't even know that would work.